Super Mario RPG was released in 1996 for the SNES and developed by Squaresoft. It is a crossover between the premium RPG developers of their time and the Mario series, two great flavors that would seemingly taste horrible together. Mario's light, predictable story and shallow characters somehow shoehorned into an RPG? It sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. However, by some miracle, or perhaps divine intervention, Super Mario RPG ended up being an utterly brilliant game, one which went on to spawn over 20 years of RPGs in the Mario series, though none were a direct successor to this game. It's obvious this game was a huge success in its time, but how does it hold up today? Let's take a look. Graphics. 10 Easily the best aspect of the game, SMRPG kills it in regards to visuals. This game is simply drop-dead gorgeous with its excellent 3D effects and rich, vibrant colors. The character designs are top-notch as well, representing some of the most creative artwork ever created for a SNES game. The only problems are that the environments can feel a bit static at times, and that the boundaries of the world are quite obvious in some places which hurts immersion. Overall, though, those aren't enough to justify removing a point from the score, as this game is a feast for the eyes. Story. Nine Mario games aren't known for their story, but SMRPG manages to have a pretty good one regardless. Instead of the usual melodrama and epic stakes of most RPGs, SMRPG opts for a quirky, cartoony story with a focus on humor. This game can really get a laugh out of you when it wants to, especially with the booster sequence. It also manages some genuine character development, as you follow both brand new characters and returning Mario favorites on their own personal journeys. Bowser especially stands out, being characterized as very insecure and headstrong, but with a surprising amount of compassion for his troops, even the ones who abandoned him. The only problem is that the story is almost overwhelming silly and could have used more heartfelt moments, because when it does have them they work brilliantly. Gameplay. 8. This is where I might run into controversy, but hopefully by the end of this passage you'll understand why I didn't give gameplay a 9 or 10. The gameplay of SMRPG is your typical turn-based RPG stuff, with party members, leveling up, spells, etc. What makes it stand out is how fast-paced it is, and how it incorporates Mario mechanics into overworld movement. SMRPG goes by really quick compared to most other RPGs, both due to the ability to dash and that traveling between areas is handled by a Mario World-style world map instead of an overworld. It's a welcome change compared to the occasionally lethargic pace of more traditional RPGs. What's even better is how Mario incorporates his signature platforming abilities into navigating the environment. SMRPG is full of platforming, which adds a fun sense of variety to the usual RPG exploration, and for the most part it feels pretty good to control. The isometric perspective can cause some issues with depth perception, but the use of a drop shadow eliminates a lot of potential frustration. The most egregious examples of poor depth perception are totally optional side activities. All the main areas are well built around Mario's controls and the limitations of the camera. It doesn't hurt that the environments themselves are so damn creative. Booster's Tower, Forest Maze, the Pirate Ship, and many more are all well-designed, imaginative dungeons full of unique puzzles and awesome secrets. Speaking of secrets, SMRPG's secrets may be the most compelling part of the entire game. There are hidden chests everywhere, and hunting these things down is so damn satisfying. I found myself jumping constantly hoping I'd stumble upon one. They aren't all in random corners either. Some are hidden off camera or require tricky jumps to access. And hunting them all down is easily the most fun part of this game. 